Hello, how are you? Um, I have an XM puzzle for you. Um, we have five identical resistors connected in this manner. So what is the effective resistance between points B and C and between points A and D? You should pause the video, um, think through the answer and then come back uh, to check your answer. Okay, to figure out the resistance between point B and C, we should imagine the current that, is, uh, that starts from B and ends at C. That means point A is a dead end. Huh? No current will go that way. So let's uh, D as well. So these two points are dead ends. So what is the resistance seen by a current that's trying to go from here to here? You see two R's in parallel with one R in parallel with two R's. So 2R in parallel with 1R in parallel with 2Rs. 2R in parallel with 2R gives me 1R. And so I still have to uh, parallel it with the last R. So the answer is R over 2. So let me write down the answer here. R over 2. And let's move on. So what is the resistance between points A and D? So this time around we are trying to push a current from here to here. B is a dead end, no current will go there. So is C. C is a dead end too. So what resistance does this current see? Hmm. It looks like I cannot simplify anything here because I cannot add these two resistance up because they are not exactly in series thanks to this branch here. I also cannot uh, think of these two as parallel resistors because, well again, because of this stupid resistor here. Okay, um, why don't we think about how the current uh, travels through this resistor network. So if we start off with current I here, um, how do you think this current will split here? This resistor network looks uh, very symmetrical, so I think there's no reason why the current shouldn't split half-half. So if we have I here, we are going to have I over 2 and I over 2. So we have the same current flowing through these two identical resistors. Doesn't that mean that the potential drop between these two points is the same as the potential drop between these two points? Now that means that the potential between these two points is the same. There is no potential difference across this resistor, this troublesome resistor. If there's no PD across this resistor, it means there's no current flowing through it. So we might as well remove this resistor. Magic! So what's the resistance seen by this current as it tries to move from point A to point D? It sees two R's in parallel with two R's. And that gives us a resistance of R. Now this works only because of the symmetry in this uh, resistor net. If say this resistor was not R but 2R, then the current um, between these two branches would have been different and the PD would have been different and the potential at these two points would have been different and there would be currents flowing through the bridging resistor and, and will not be able to just dump it. Okay. That's all. Ta-ta!